this video we're going to talk about sex and I was going to start with reading something from Dr. Marty Klein, a sex therapist in Palo Alto, to whose newsletter I subscribe. But I'm going to start out with the post I came across from a PhD uh, student on Twitter, Date Psych, at Date Psych. And he's talking about promiscuous women. He thinks that it's funny that there's a whole genre of red pill and pickup artist guys who think that women in 2024 are so demure and that sex is so taboo that women still won't tell you how many people they have had sex with on an anonymous survey. I would get this if it came from insults or others that had no experience with women, but not from high sociosexuality men who claim to have a lot of experience with women. Have they not been around promiscuous women at all? Women who will have sex with you on the first date have overwhelmingly sex-positive attitudes. They don't pretend that sex is taboo or that they have low body counts. These women will practically volunteer information about their sexual history in person on dates and make you think, why are you even telling me this? I even didn't ask. I mean, we live in an era when women will post whole TikToks about their body count and dating history. This can only occur in a culture where there is no fear of consequences or repercussions for sexual behavior. It's really like they don't understand how women who are open to casual sex think about casual sex at all. It reads as a sort of projection of how these men think about sex. They think... A low body count is very important to me, so promiscuous women care too. Whereas, really the attitude of high sociosexuality women is much more, body count shouldn't matter, I don't give a fuck how many people I have sex with, and you shouldn't either. And I want to say, neither should you guys. I do not give a fuck what any of you guys think about my body count. I cannot be sexually shamed. I cannot be sexually shamed. I'm a sexual being. My body count is in the thousands, in the thousands, and I cannot be shamed. <laughs> and men hate that because it's the insecure guys who want to control us and who are jealous that they can't match our body count and that they cannot control us. That's the real issue. It's shadow work, guys. Anyway, let me continue. This is why I think so many of the anonymous pickup artist accounts are non-Western marketers regurgitating a template. It's like they miss the entire zeitgeist of current sexual attitudes. It's almost a paranoia around promiscuity that can only come from people in cultures where promiscuity is still a big stigma. Everyone is actually having a ton of sex, but shh, it's all secret. It's really like they haven't been around women who do have a lot of sex at all. It's like they aren't even aware how little promiscuous women even feel the need to hide this from you. Um, I skipped over the part where he quotes, the woman who said she had sex with three people, she's actually sucked a thousand dicks. Because no, we're not trying to hide this from you. We don't care. <laughs> so fuck you. That's what I want to say to these morons because... I got sucked into watching a lot of this red pill stuff and believing it was true. You know, believing that this was actually reality and fact, just like a lot of people believe the Bible is fact and that snakes can talk. I thought that men didn't like women who had uh, fucked a lot of guys and who liked sex. But these are just guys from like weirdos. Weirdos care. Anyway. Um. Okay, so women, promiscuous women, do not feel the need to hide this from you. And the whole thing is designed to appeal to men who themselves do not have a lot of sexual partners. This is what I found in my body count data. Who cares the most? Or who even asks? You know the men who care about the body count? The men with the fewest sexual partners. They're the ones who care. Men with more past partners care the least and they're least likely to even ask. So if you're asking about body count, it just means that you haven't had a lot of partners. You have not had female, you have not had a lot of partners. 
That's why you care and that's why you ask. So, it's your problem. It's not like the field of sex research struggles to get data. We know from all of the bogus pipeline research, the fake lie detector experiments, that there's very little difference between the lie detector condition and the anonymous reports of sexual partner counts. And we know people are happy to volunteer information on sexual taboos and fantasies that are way more controversial than body count. From guys who say all of the women are secretly whores. And I am a whore. I fucking own it. I am a whore. But you can't have me unless you do exactly how I want you to be. Men hate that. They hate that. But anyway, I digress because I am having fun owning being a whore and not giving a shit. Finally, I've seen the light around these idiotic men who try to shame us for our sexuality. Now, I want to say... I do not hook up because I do not like guys just using me for sex. I'll do it with my sugar daddies because they take care of me and they're nice to me. But with some random guy who just wants to stick a stick in me and leave, even if he gives me an orgasm, no thanks. It's on my terms. Sex is on my terms. And insecure men hate that. Married men who are not getting fucked hate that. They're jealous of my sexual freedom. So that's just what I want to say. I'm just being honest right here. Okay. So for the guys who say all of the women are secretly whores, this says so much more about the psychology of the men who believe this than it does anything about typical sexual behavior. It's a claim a logical person would just dismiss it well since it's entirely a product of their own minds. When you ask them a source, they'll be like, well, I made it up. They don't have a source. Men who believe that all women are secretly whores have made this up in their mind. I, for example, when I say whore, I just mean like I have a high body count, but I never cheated in 25 years of marriage. I've never cheated on a boyfriend except one time and I do not hook up. I don't know any women who hook up or who cheat. I don't know anyone like that. So it's a myth that all women are cheaters, but we are sexual. Women love, women get horny, get over it. And if you suck in bed, we're not gonna wanna fuck you. Okay, so get that straight. That's why we don't wanna fuck you because you suck in bed. And if you're good in bed and you're hot, we wanna fuck you, we get horny. Okay, I digress. <laughs> The fact is that most people have modest body counts. Obviously not me, mine is super fucking high. And the more men I fucked, the more experienced I am. And that's why I make these videos based on my experience. Okay. The fact is that most people have modest body counts. The dominant human mating pattern is serial monogamy. People form longish relationships, have sex with one partner for extended periods of time, then move on. Most people are not short-term mating strategists and women even less on average. I absolutely agree with that. The woman with the body count of three isn't hiding a whole face from you. She probably just had three long-term relationships and skipped that entirely. Okay, so I'm going to call this video, um, oh my god, um, Secure men don't out, don't care about body count, I guess. Should I call it that? I forgot what I was going to say. Promiscuous women do not feel the need to hide this from you. Oh, men with few sexual partners care about body count. That's what I want to say. Because the onus is on you guys. Because secure men don't even care. So that's what I want to say in this video. And thank you for watching.